anyone resist a great tureki at Greek Easter time, today I'm going to share with you my version of how I make my Greek tureki. It's quite easy and it's simple and everyone can follow. In this saucepan I have um, my milk and my chlepe, which I've already warmed up to room temperature. What you need to do is add this into your bowl. You will need a stand mixer for all of this. In the bowl, we also add our sugar. We're also gonna add our oil. And we're gonna add two whole eggs and one egg yolk. So I've got my three eggs in here, which are two whole eggs and one egg yolk. To that, we're also gonna add our flour. I only put half of the flour to start off with. Pop on your dough mix hook to your machine. And we're also going to need some salt. Um, okay, to that we're going to be adding the flour as it is mixing. And you will see all this come together and combine. It should take about three to five minutes to bring this all together. This just makes life so easy when you're using a mixer. You can do this by hand if you don't have a hand mixer. It'll just take a little bit longer to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to speed this up, let all these ingredients get combined together. You will see that it will pull off off the sides of the bowl as it's mixing. So as you can see, this is all mixed together and coming together quite nicely. It's pulled off the sides of the bowl. next is to take it off of here and we bring it over to here stop so you bring this over to you and you will find that this is a little bit sticky and it's quite normal so bring this onto your bench just like so this on our bench now and just give it a little bit of a dough you might find it is a little bit sticky you can put a little bit of um, oil on your hands to help you with that in your mixing bowl that you mixed it in place a little bit of oil uh, if you don't have a glass mixing bowl just use a normal glass bowl pop that in there like that grab your clean wrap and cover it this will take about 90 minutes um, to rise, so just set it aside, let it, let it do its thing. Okay, so what I did was I've got the other one rising over there, but I did prepare one this morning so that I could um, show you how to do this now. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to make a plat with this, and um, you'll probably get about two out of this one here. Oh wow, look at that, how beautiful soft that is. Wow, this is just amazing. Okay, so you will need a tray with some greaseproof paper. And what you've got to do here is cut it in half. In equal portions. And then what I want you to do is cut it in half again. Now I'm going to show you my way how I like this and it is just so easy so everyone should be able to do this so you need to roll out two pieces of dough like so make it nice and long and then this is your second piece and normally when people do this they use three pieces but I'm going to show you with two need to do here is you cross one over the other one many of you may have never seen this but it's really simple to do cross cross just like so and continue to do this all the way down and then just tuck that under and you have got a beautiful little plate I'll show you one more 
if you want to make more, just double your mix. Or you can make one big one or two nice size ones. So roll this out. And get your second piece of dough. Oh my god, this is just so soft. It is beautiful. Again, you cross it over. One, two, three. And you just plait them. And then with the other ones, you just tuck them in underneath. Just like that. Once you have done this, get your clean wrap. Just like so, grab a towel and then set aside and leave it rise for the second time for about 45 minutes. And I'll be back to finish this off soon. Okay guys, so we've allowed these now to rest for 45 minutes. As you can see, they've doubled in size. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to egg wash these. So in a little bowl, I've got an egg yolk and a little bit of milk um, so we can brush these. Make sure that you brush these all over, get every crease mark, as you can see. Oh my god, don't they just look divine. So brush, brush, brush. And then on top of these you can put um, almonds, I'm going to use almonds, slithered almonds for mine. You can use anything you like, sesame seeds, poppy seeds. Whatever you feel like, whatever you've got in the kitchen. Some people also put a red Easter egg on these as well um, to really make it more traditional. But unfortunately, I don't have a red Easter egg, so there you go. Once you have done this, then what we're going to do is we're going to place them in the oven to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes. In a moderate oven at 180 degrees. Okay guys, so it's been 20 minutes in the oven. I'm just going to pull them out now. Oh my goodness me. Look at these babies. How beautiful. If you could only just smell my kitchen right now. It is absolutely beautiful in here. This cooking segment. And I hope you all give it a go. It is just beautiful to make. If you could just smell my kitchen right now, you would all just want to get into them. I'm going to tear one apart just so you can see how soft and beautiful that is. Have fun baking. Thank you for watching my show.